Hello everybody. Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Ravi Kan Singh from Global Customer Support MDM team. Today as part of this presentation, we will be going through using match key distribution in MDM multi-domain edition. We will have a brief discussion on match keys and their role in MDM. Navigating through match keys. We will see how we can check data for a match key and some other interesting information just by navigating through match keys. Match keys in MDM are typically used to select candidates out of complete data set. Now this is our two step search and match uh, methodology where we first create set of candidates which are probable and then perform all the match rules on top of those, those candidates. Customer need to select match key for a particular uh, match key column for a particular ba uh, base object. Usually it is organization name or the complete name for a particular party object. Let's see a typical distribution of these match keys in MDM sample. To see match key distribution, of course, you should have generated match keys for a particular base object. Expand the base object, navigate to match and merge setup, and there you will see a tab for match key distribution. Now, this particular distribution is for all letters starting with single digits, and there you will see the complete list of all the keys. You can always drill down to these high towers and identify a particular hotspot. For example, in this case, there are around 600 keys. And if I go back a bit, there are around 600 keys, which will start with Y, M, N. And if I just navigate through these keys, of course, these two records, and these are row ID objects for the, from the party base object, they have the same information with respect to key and if you can see the similarity between organization name here TMS and that uh, 3314 and TMS 3323 effectively has a similar key and this most probably because of the TMS so essentially this key corresponds to TMS in the complete data set now if I look for a similar data you will find record information as well as you will see all other attributes coming from the match path. So let's drill down a bit and see the information. So here you can see all the information for the match path. And uh, since this got same key, similar keys, you can see it's coming from the Time Warner Venture Incorporation. It's quite clear. Tim Arnold, organization name. And look the similarity. So we got Tim Arnold generated this particular key, and the similar key was generated by Time Warner Companies Incorporation. Now this is very important to understand here that there will be one to many keys for a particular party base object record, and the data or that particular party base object should be selected even if you search for Tim as a candidate. Then we will have all these other attributes applied and you will find a match or a not, not a match. Now these are all time Warner, different variation of time Warner. So quite clearly this key corresponds to time and Tim of course. Let's drill down a bit and choose this one. Okay, that's, that's no difference. Let's choose something different this time here. Well, maybe it is for Warner as the data. Again, time here. Looks like there are a lot of time Warner in the MDM sample. Let's go to the keys which start with T. And there you will see 
create liberty securities in corporation and laboratories laboratories and if i just go through the similar keys i'll probably get more information and you can observe that after going into certain level of key distribution like we are down to three or four level we will start seeing the similarity and if we follow this complete distribution it will be not difficult to identify hotspot so if i just keep following the towers here you would find a spot which will generate the same type of keys and there are like 200 of them so you can clearly see that out of a data set of around 3500 there are 200 time warner just by following few clicks here there's a very good tool to analyze what kind of similarities or uh, information you have in the match keys and the overall data set and it's it gives you a complete insight of all other attributes coming from the, uh, from other match path components as well so now with this information we are at the end of our presentation as always we would like to hear back from you so please give us feedback Thanks for your time.